Are you the artist? Yes. Now, the last time I saw something like this, this is on Channel 4, but I don't think it's the Channel 4 Peacock, is it? No, it's not. Not give at me, all. Give me a little introduction. Tell me your name. What's your name, sir? Chris Kottmeyer. Where are you from, Chris? I'm from uh, Lynnhurst, New Jersey. Okay, now we opened up. I understand you have two here, but this is the one that I first opened up with. Get a little bit closer to it. So, okay, right about there. Um, oil. Oil. Yes? Oil on canvas. How did you get your subject to be like that, or tell me a little bit about the, the work? Actually, I did it from uh, a picture. A picture, okay. Most of my work is done outside on the spot, but for some reason, I was watching something on TV, one of the nature channels, and they had peacocks on it, and I just got an inspiration to paint a peacock. So it's like, oh, it's like it's beautiful, and they have so many colors. You're calling him an elegant peacock, if I noticed the title there. Yeah, yeah. Did well, I, started, I did two of them, actually, at the same time. One after the other, I did, did one, and I had sold that one already. The one was just like the head, and and the uh, feathers were coming all the way off from behind. It was like a straight-on one. Well, I, I like the one I'm looking at right and now. And then this one is obviously the sideways without the feathers all over. Very cool. Now you got one more piece. Why don't you just take a couple steps backwards? Right here, I got. What do we got here? Traffic, New York City. Wait, wait, wait everybody see the traffic because I know your sight to a lot of people. I think we all can relate to this. Were you actually there doing this? I actually. Uh, well, did you drive, take a picture? How did, how did this come I took out? this from a picture. Right at this moment, I'm driving uh, for a company in New York City. Okay. Which I hate, but. Uh, well, that's another story. Yeah, but I'm stuck in traffic all the time. This is what it looks like to me. Was that actually your view? Maybe out your that's window? My, I got a huge window on the truck. It's on the a front big of you. truck, you know. So I'm always getting stuck in traffic. This is actually, I think this is Park Avenue. Now, the only thing I don't want to hear is that you were painting while you were driving. No, I take tons of pictures. Like, you know, I got a little, you got a little camera, camera you back home. and just constantly taking pictures. Because you're not moving. I mean, there's constantly red lights. No, I, I understand that. I do. You know, How do you so, feel about being here in Fairlawn, sir? It's That's nice. A, I haven't been here before. I mean, I had an aunt that lived down here, but I haven't been to this particular library. I didn't even know they had this. Do you do shows from time to time? All the time. The, with the group? and the, Yeah, yeah. Black Blackwell Street, we do them all the time. Well, I just it's a pleasure meeting with you. I just wanted a little bit of a feedback from our sure. artists. We don't get a chance to meet them all the time. Right. Now, you go mingle, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. You. I feel like I'm on the seas here. Is that true? That's true. That's definitely true. Where am I on that? <laughs> and before I even get to that, who am I talking? What's your name, sir? John Power. Okay. Tell me a little bit about the work, please. Well, obviously it's a seascape, but I approach my seascapes more abstractly than. Okay. Just... What sea might I be looking at if there was a way of describing that? Well, I titled this one Aegean Sea, but it's. Uh... It could be anywhere, huh? No. Or well, what? Tell me. It wasn't painted there at the Aegean Sea, but the, the way this action formed here, this wave here, right. it, it reminded me of the bow of one of those ancient uh, Greek ships. Ah, so, <laughs> this is uh, oil, I believe, right? This is an oil, yeah, but my concern when I painted it more than anything else was trying to build up a rhythm as I was going along, you know, to kind of catch the... Simulating uh, wave and motion of the sea, I would imagine, cor right? Uh, correct, correct. But yeah, it was more method than... Uh, actual visual that I was using as when, you, when you do things like this, are most of your work, is, is it outside, the landscape, sea uh, kinds of things? What do you usually try and do? Well, I, I usually, uh, this one was painted outdoors. Okay. But uh, a lot of times I just do drawings outside and then work in the studio. You bring it back in. But, okay. but this, uh, a lot of this stuff was done, uh, what they call, in plain air, you know? I've been hearing that expression a lot lately. Especially, yeah. Especially it's, today. I mean, it's painting outdoors, you know. So it's kind of hit and miss sometimes. It's, just, it's yeah. the kind of thing you can really just keep on looking at for a while. It kind well, of draws you into it. Well, that's what I uh, strive for. Part of much that, the plan of attack. That's there for what I strive for. <laughs> I want you to kind of get lost in there. You know? I, I was getting lost. I was looking for my paddle. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> How do you feel about being here in Fairlawn, sir? What's it like for you? Well, it's very nice here. Nice uh, venue you have here in the library. Very nice. Well, I appreciate your time. It's always a little bit of fun to meet the artists and talk with them about their work. You go mingle and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you okay. for your time. Thank you. Thank you.